The King's Cross Circus was free and open for business every day of the year. It drew people from everywhere into this tiny postcode, stripped them back to their most basic needs and played it out on the streets. The sex and the drink and the drugs were there for all to see, but you didn't have to watch for long until the violence began to show itself too. There was the blue and white police tape after the drunks had stabbed each other outside of Hungry Jack's, or the bikers occasionally beating people on the footpath near the pink pussycat. And less spectacular, but most compelling of all, was the strange, complicated dance with death that most often took place long after midnight. I had seen junkies cut up with blood all over them, abusing paramedics who'd come to help them. And in the mornings, a kind of aftershock from the explosion of night. The casualties wandering stunned from the dance clubs, babbling, their minds grappling with too many chemicals. It could be both frightening and exhilarating, watching paramedics work on someone, not knowing if they'll come back or not. Two Sundays ago, I saw a skinny girl in denim shorts in Doc Martens trying to get a job outside the internet cafe. When I came up for a cigarette, she was lying on the ground. Jamal and I watched the paramedics go through their steps. Don't lose her, fellas. She's a good one, said a schizophrenic who called himself the Largactyl Kid after the drug they'd given him in the state home. The paramedics brought her back and she sat on a step for a while and was working again before the ambulances had left. 